Okay, so we've talked about ego and being identity as mother or student or winner or loser or conqueror or weakling or, you know, brainiac, whatever. Ego death is not identifying as not being stuck identifying as any of those things. You, you can let go that identity as yourself. So, okay, now what next? Like you, you have gained this understanding in your expansive experience. You are, you have had your ego death, so to speak. You, you have sort of disidentified with the concepts that define you. Now you are back to real life. <laughs> what do you do with this? ego death. Um, how do you, how do you now maintain the fact that you don't have, you know, you don't have to identify as, let's just say, we'll say weakling or loser. So <laughs> in, in the world of concepts, you know, you're not that you are whatever you want to be, but now you're back in your body. Well, your body is maintained in a particular way and it's the patterns of brain firing and the movements of the way that you, you know, use your body that will keep you or not locked into identity as loser. And so when you come back, there's work to be done on the body. You've done the work in the head and you've done the work in the understanding. Now you have to work with the body. Now you have to change the thinking patterns, change the, the body movements. That's how you integrate what you've learned in your psychedelic